Leo, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It's a message for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. This is an energy reading, so please take it where and how it resonates in your life. It is your message. It comes to you when it's, well, it comes to you when it's going to be received by you, when you need to hear it. Uh, but there is a new message that comes out every single week, so please be sure that you um, excuse me, please be sure that you subscribe to the channel and then you'll be able to click that notification bell. For those of you who are already subscribed, please make sure that your notification bell is still on and that you've selected all notifications because I don't feel like there are notifications going out and I just want to be sure. But for those of you who are just subscribing, you click the subscribe and then you hit all notifications by ringing that little, that little bell and you'll be notified when I upload your favorite content. There's a new video for all 12 zodiac signs every single week over here. They are timeless messages. If you're looking for a personal message, a personal reading, I do do those. Please check out my website. The link is in the description box below, or you just Google me, Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Um, and then you can book and schedule the service that's right for you over there. I have added all of the extended readings to the BWOB membership. So the channel memberships are easy to get to. You just go to the front page of this channel, you click join, and then you select the BWOB membership. It's a low monthly fee and you get access to all of the extended readings and in addition, exclusive content. I don't post anywhere else as well as preferences and um, um, priority when it comes to comments in the comment section and when I go live sometimes I go live for members only or when I go live you are prioritized in those readings as well so check that out today you ready Leo let's go Leo Leo. Oh dear God, help me. What is going to come out for Leo? Mm. Leo. You're not feeling like yourself. There's some confidence issues. There's something about the past. Maybe jumping in too quickly to something, being manipulative. Let's let's see, there's, there's something. Now let me say this. The one thing that I got while I was shuffling the cards, one thing I knew was that I was gonna be surprised. There was something that was gonna surprise me about this reading. So I think that surprise is a theme here and maybe there's some surprises that you're about to get this week there's a couple of cards that aren't revealed but let me show you the ones that are over here in the past not too long ago we have sweet results await mm, no something failed or fall fell flat or was disappointing there was a lack of success somewhere lack of confidence could also be egotism and then claim your independence the sense of okay trying to trying to get it done it, it was it was something about a transition about getting away from something going out on your own breaking away from it this could have been a few years back could have been less last year it's not long long ago but it's like this sense of who you are knowing who you are but at the same time there was some sort of disappointment or maybe failure and then we have make your dreams real but it was kind of squashed it just didn't come out the way that you expected it or there could have been a lot of manipulation and that's what it is this sense of i tried to go out on my own i tried to do something to express who i am but there was a lot of manipulation you, i don't think you really knew what you were getting into and then that's the best way to put it right now there was something here like you didn't know what you were getting into or even if you were even moderately successful there was this energy of not it, it wasn't what you imagined it to be. Okay, and then we have take the lead. So I think that was maybe what awoken your consciousness, right? This sense of, of, of I don't wanna stay here. I, I wanna get something out of it. I learned from it, 
and I want to move somewhere else, but I don't want to stay here. I was not ready to plant myself, but also the sense of something showed you a reality that you had not been aware of. You came into consciousness of it, and then there is this energy of wanting to do something with it. So even though that wasn't the place where you wanted to stay, you did belong there because there was some level of exposure that you needed to realize the truth of this circumstance or the reality of the situation so that now forevermore it had changed you and it changed the way that you looked at things and certainly that became um, an integral part of you okay okay and then we have time to let go groundhog spirit okay i understand what god's telling me here so this was something that drove you, something that you were driven by, a disappointment that you were driven by. It wasn't just a disappointment like you didn't get this job. It was a disappointment in that you did get this job. It was a dream job. These are all examples. But, but it ended up you hated everybody involved and you realized the industry was dirty. You know, the sense of you went into it with this open heart, like you identified yourself as this is absolutely where I belong. And then when you saw the reality of it, you were like, fuck no, I'm not, I'm not happy birthday, Doug Denny, staying anywhere near this space. Like, no, 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 no. Don't want anything to do with it. It's sort of awoken you. Now it's time to let that go. Not the lessons you learned, but it's time to let that disappointment go because you've already incorporated it into who you are and you don't have to think about it anymore. This sense of a beautiful liberation or release of you've completed this cycle, but something about it was still weighing you down and I think it was the disappointment of it all or the disappointment in a group of people or these people that you were with or whatever, whoever it was, there was manipulation, there was egos that you were dealing with. Maybe you didn't like yourself or who you became. So there was just this sense of, but now let it go. You're at a point in your life where now this week you finally get liberation from that toxic past, right? You get liberation. There is and could very well be some heartbreak that is, is coming to the surface or being revealed. And we're going to get deeper into what exactly that is. And then we have in the future, lay a solid foundation. So what this is saying is, if you don't let this go, if you don't bring this to the surface, then Leo, you're not going to be able to ever feel like there's solid ground again, or this is making you shaky because there's something here that's coming to the surface that could very well be changing the way that you look at things, the way that you see things, the way that you see yourself, right? There was something here that was, it wasn't constructed right. But like what it's saying is, it was never constructed right. Now, because something's coming to the surface, you're gonna see the breaks, you're gonna see the cracks, and that empowers you to be able to do something about it. And so don't think of these, these, these difficult weeks as God's against me. No, God's for you because he's exposing what the reality of it is and he's exposing the cracks right you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to step onto a deck that's broken and rotted and that's kind of like what you're becoming aware of and even though it may very well disappoint you right now at the same time right now you'll be able to know the truth about something and and maybe even fix it so let's get into the situation lay a solid foundation it's almost like things aren't as solid as you thought they were and that may be what's coming to the surface now. So what we want to do is say this, God, what is this? What's coming to the surface? What does Leo have to let go of? Well, what's coming to the surface? Let's put it that way. Um, we have justice here. So either you're actually dealing with a Libra or a court case of some sort, or there's a sense of balance. It's got to do with a king of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, masculine, doesn't have to be a male. But it's definitely like how you feel or the truth about this person and then a small person. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, younger person. Um, it's going to help out. It's almost like generational somehow that is going to help equalize or balance things out with regards to 
um, generations, it's almost like in some ways there's a regression of sorts, uh, starting over, um, figuring things out. It's got something to do with these characters. And now going in a different direction, going in a different direction, right? And this would be, this would be the surprise, the sense of somebody sort of springing on you. Maybe it is you don't really know me, right? I have to, I have to go back to get to my sincerity to move forward in this more honest and truthful direction. But there is something that is moving forward here. So we could have just described a person, which is there's this person, perhaps younger than you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, got to something to do with this water energy. Um, that is, is moving, moving away or, or going in a, in a different direction, right? It's, there's a change here of some sort, but because opportunities are opening up to them. That's, that's what it is. There's opportunities opening up. It's like everything is shifting at the same time. I need clarity. I need clarity. What do you mean, God? Okay, so this could just be bittersweet. Queen of Cups is open-hearted Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces as well. A lot of water energy. This sense of just getting right with how you feel about yourself or getting right with certain people in your life. There's clarity here or a judgment that's made. This is um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, clarity. Somebody that comes out with clarity that changes the world. So we got a lot of players on the field. Very much has to do with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, a water sign person making a decision to change things for the future or for somebody who is younger or that younger person breaking a generational uh, curse or generational karma. Let's put it, let's more put it that way, generational karma, because all of a sudden now there's clarity with regards to all this water energy all around you. There's, there's, um, it's like letting one chapter end and a new chapter begin. It's like, you don't have to continue to be the person that you've always been, Leo. This is liberation from the concept of that. That disappointment is in the past, and now you don't even have to identify with it anymore. It's not being like you're in denial of it. That's not the same thing. This is legitimately like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter to you. It doesn't impact you anymore because there's such changes and shifts, and really it's like your future focused. But what's this here? What is this? Why is lay a solid foundation in reverse? Why is it? Uh, maybe it's like you just don't want it like remain I don't know let's clarify ah uh, because something's about to shift something's about to shift okay something's about to shift I said that already let me clarify we came here there's a tower something that you don't know information that you don't know and it's with regards to Maybe there was a fire sign energy or spontaneous behavior, sexual behavior, deviant behavior of some, so, of some sort. Um, Six of Pentacles. There, it's almost like it's almost like two things are happening at the same time. There's this broadening and opening and opportunities coming in, but with those opportunities also comes uh, something that is uncomfortable this sense of deciding to move into something very quickly because it's opportunities, but there's stuff that you don't see. So in other words, Leo, that pause button that you're experiencing this week is actually God intervening. So you can look deeper into this situation because it seems really great. It seems like, oh, I gotta take this, but there's something here that you shouldn't take. There's something here that you should look into a little bit more because it is not all what it seems. And there is this sense of being stuck if you push too far ahead or ride into this or draw conclusions too quickly. I don't think you want to draw conclusions too quickly. You don't. That's, what, that's definitely what Spirit is saying. Don't draw conclusions too quickly because there's still more that has to be clarified but it's like somebody's getting offered a lot of money or or 
somebody is getting a lot of opportunities being offered to them but ultimately there's this sense of not wanting to jump into it too quickly trying to weigh out the right choice there's more to learn we have work through your fears new moon in scorpio so there's definitely something buried that has to be confronted you already know it you've already had these feelings but this new opportunity that's presenting itself is starting to reveal them i don't know that's happening directly to you it's impacting you because it may be happening to somebody that you really care about confidence is your key to success new moon in leo new moon in scorpio working through your fears be bold and make the first move maybe somebody you don't there's this energy of it won't move forward unless you decide unless you choose unless it's almost like i'm on your side don't be afraid of what's behind that curtain so let's see we've just got to see what is behind that curtain that's what i want to know because there's something here that you didn't know and it will shock you and it's got to do with some sort of spontaneity or some sort of um um fuckery like like fuck boyery like this this sense of you didn't realize maybe there was another person involved okay we'll just keep talking so can we clarify a little bit you got to keep moving forward definitely knight of cups remain open-hearted and proceed in faith because there is that sense of lack of certainty there's cockiness it's like you don't want somebody to be too cocky what's got to do with an engagement there's something here with an engagement i don't know why that was just thrown out but that's kind of what this is this is a proposal of marriage Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, making a decision, making a proposal of marriage. But there's underneath the surface something that you don't understand or don't know that could actually shock you a lot. Maybe somebody's trying to cover something up. It's something that you don't, it doesn't necessarily have to cover something up. I think somebody's rushing in because they feel like they have to because there's opportunity in front of them and this is what you do to get it right and there is this sense of but that's not how it has to be and if if like you make one bad choice because you think you have to to make the right choice then that right choice actually gets compromised it's actually like in construction and you're building this beautiful plan but you try to take a shortcut and you think well it won't affect anything it will don't take the shortcut and like it's almost like you've got to be brave enough to let this play out i mean that's coming through loud and clear i want to get a little bit more clarity there's some sort of proposal involved here engagement um yin this has got to do with i just heard maternal energy so this opening expansiveness or maybe a new baby that you didn't realize somebody hasn't told you yet but that might be coming being revealed or there's something about this maternal energy there's some message from the past that has to be delivered to you that you're not quite aware of yet or something has been held up backed up that you're about to receive there is a message that you're about to receive that you're about to learn about that i think is going to clarify a lot of of future stuff so let's see i gotta ask what is this message in the bottle god what is this message in the bottle what is this message in the bottle for leo <laughs> um got to do with a job got to do with work king of pentacles is coming out this is usually a boss or this is a person that you know then we have strength so being prepared for something being ready for something um page of cups got to do with cancer scorpio pisces somebody young trying to compromise or create an equilibrium things working out for them so this message in this bottle has to do with some sort of job or opportunity surrounding this younger person um and maybe they haven't told you yet because they didn't know how you'd react to it. 
Um, yeah, okay, let's go to the extended. Um, yeah, uh, I'm sorry. No, I do want to draw a conclusion first. Message in a bottle has to do with just things, I don't know. It, it Currently, you see it as something that's very good because it is this beautiful little opportunity or maybe somebody hasn't told you they're expecting a baby. And if they haven't yet, that might throw you off a little bit for these plans that you've made. Not to say that you don't want it, but to say that it's almost like, I'm going to say it again. If God has asked you to pause, it's not because God's trying to keep something from you. They want to protect you from something. God wants to protect you from something that they see ahead. And it really has to do with rushing in too quickly or realizing that you could be on a train headed off a cliff. You don't want to jump on just because you're so in a rush to get someplace. Money, opportunity, career is a concern. Don't do it. If you've been paused, don't push through this pause. Don't be scared that you're not going to get it. You are going to get what's good for you. There is almost a train wreck ahead that God's trying to sort of protect you from right now. Let there be a pause. Trust the pause. Now let's go to the extended. I will see you guys there.